Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, let's take a look at PAL AI and see where we can land with a price target for the 2024 2025 bull run. But before we dive on into this, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. And while I appreciate that, so many of you are hopping in here from all over the place. You've got to hit the subscribe button. I make price target videos every day at 6 a.m. Eastern time, United States on the dot. I try to keep up as much as possible with this rapidly evolving crypto space and turn on that notification button as well so that you don't miss a thing in this rapidly evolving crypto space. Did I say that already? What, whatever. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into this. First, I wanna bring to your attention that I've talked about PAL in two different videos so far. Manta, Brilliant, and PAL AI are these the next 100X gems, and I looked at PAL in that video, did a brief look, and I liked what I saw. It was my favorite cryptocurrency from that video. Very bullish on PAL, 100X, not so sure about that, but it can certainly do many, many Xs from where it is today. And then AI coins are ripping right now. Will this trend continue? That was about a week ago. And what I wanted to see was, you know, what's gonna happen? You know, we, we've seen a lot of big moves, especially with the NVIDIA earnings that just happened last week. So what's the next thing going on with PAL? I talk about it in that video. I talk about it, AI crypto, should I buy now or wait for the dip? In my opinion, right now, you should be waiting for the dip with a lot of AI cryptos the day that I'm making this late February of 2024. So with that being said, you can see here on the chart, PAL, is uh, it has ripped over the last few weeks. It's done more than a three and a half X from I'm looking right here from right there. It's done more than three and a half X. That's just a few days ago, a few days ago from at least the making of this video. That was last week, it was at 10 cents. And now it's at 37, it's gotten over 40 cents. And so it's a $295 million market cap. At this point in time, it was under 100 million and I was frothing at the mouth, really excited about buying PAL. And I fortunately was able to buy some before that big move up. A couple of things that I'm looking at here, you know, fully diluted valuation isn't too bad, 79.57% in circulation. For a new cryptocurrency like this, that is an aggressive release schedule, which is good looking forward from today's point. That's, that's a good number. That's a good amount. We don't have to worry about too much inflation moving forward. But if you didn't see my, my video where I talked briefly about PAL along with Manta and Brilliant, my general thoughts on PAL is that it is a smaller market cap version of BitTensor, aka Tau. BitTensor is trying to be the Bitcoin, the decentralized version of ChatGPT. The Bitcoin of AI is how they like to brand themselves. PAL is very much along those lines. It ha it is it is it's a decentralized chat GPT competitor. And the way that they work that out is, you know, you click on get my bot now, it'll take you to a bot on their website where you can ask chat GPT like questions for PAL. There's a lot more going on with PAL other than that, but AI cryptocurrency, AI is the narrative in my opinion, the big narrative. And I've gone back and forth with that. I finally landed and this is a very high conviction move on my part that more so than DPIN, more so than RWA cryptos, gaming, metaverse, whatever modular blockchains, whatever that big narrative is that you are thinking about getting in on AI, it seemed a little too simple. It seemed a little too good to be true. AI is the narrative, especially with NVIDIA, with ChatGPT, with major, major players. We're so early in AI that whether or not these cryptos have anything to do with the big things going on in artificial intelligence right now, they are going to see massive gains just on hype alone. And so whatever it is fundamentally with PAL, whether they, they are a disruptor to BitTensor or a disruptor to ChatGPT, or whether they're just, they're just along for the ride, PAL AI is gonna do very well over the next several weeks and months. So I did try using their, I've tried before, and uh, for some reason today it wouldn't load. I'm gonna blame this on my end that there's something going on with my computer. So I wanted to ask PAL a question. <laughs> I, and I'm, I am curious to see what, they, what the answer they give. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same answer that ChatGPT would give. But I wanted to ask PAL, should I buy PAL now or wait for the dip? So I asked it to chat GPT, should I buy Na PAL crypto now or wait for the dip? And they gave me a very political answer. I'm, I'm so shocked, chat GPT. Predicting the future movements of any cryptocurrency, including PAL, is highly uncertain and speculative, blah, blah, blah. Okay, in their summary, 
You couldn't give a more a more non-answer than this. Ultimately, whether you should buy PAL now or wait for the dip depends on your own research, risk tolerance, and investment strategy. If you believe in the long-term potential of PAL and are willing to accept the risks involved, you might consider buying now. Thanks a lot, ChatGPT. However, if you prefer to wait for a better entry point or are unsure about the current market conditions, you could wait for a potential dip. Always remember to invest responsibly and never invest more than you can afford to lose. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. What a cookie cutter response. But I will give more a more direct response right now looking at the PAL chart. You should wait for the dip. And now I don't have this. I'm not going to pull it up on TradingView right now, especially because I'm in a Google slideshow presentation right now. But looking at a lot of these AI cryptocurrencies, you've got to at least wait for the 20 day EMA and most ideally the 50 day EMA to at least rise to the levels of where these cryptocurrencies are right now. And of course, this is February analysis in March or April, if you're watching this in those months, totally different story. But right now in February of 2024, you should be waiting for the dip, not financial advice. So what do we say about PAL? What should we say about PAL? I don't have, I've done a lot of AI cryptocurrencies already. I've done BitTensor, Price Prediction, Render, Fetch, and, um, and Ajax. And so BitTensor, Render, and Fetch are our top three. Akash is number four. Looking at the total AI crypto market cap, $17 billion. It's a lot easier for me to use other things when it comes to totems, when it comes to what is a good bit of information I can use that's going to help me land on a reasonable price target with this particular cryptocurrency. Render existed in 2021. Fetch AI, same deal. BitTensor Tau, I, I, you got to watch that video that I made to see what I used as my totem in that video. For, for a smaller cap AI cryptocurrencies, because you're always asking me for predictions on these smaller cap ones, it's going to be a lot more difficult to predict. But here's where I've decided to land. You can see up here at the top of the screen a 17 billion 523 million market cap market cap for all AI cryptos. That's kind of that's where I'm going to focus on with trying to figure out where we're going to land with PAL at the peak of the bull run. So I have decided to land at $200 million for the AI crypto market cap. Maybe that's too small. Maybe it's going to be a trillion dollars. I don't know. Whatever you think that the AI crypto market cap is going to land, I like $200 billion, especially because BitTensor, Tau being the biggest one, that's a $28 billion market cap, my projection for it. Render, my projection for Render is a about a 12, I want to say 12 or $13 billion market cap. Fetch AI is up there. So the, the big ones, I would expect the top 10 to when we're talking about my market cap projections be about a hundred billion dollars. And so $200 billion for the rest of them, because there's a lot of smaller market cap AI cryptos that that seems to make sense to me, a hundred billion for the top 10, a hundred billion for the rest. Maybe that's too conservative, whatever the case, I just want to tell you, it's really, really difficult with these smaller cap AI cryptos. So my crypto prediction, my pal prediction could be way too conservative. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you thought that. All right. So here's where I land for that 200 billion total AI crypto market cap projection. The current pal AI market cap is 1.37%. Their market cap dominance. Let's say that swings up to 1.5%. That gives us a $3 billion market cap for PAL. I couldn't find much information for their vesting releases, circulating supply. I've, I've seen from their beginning until today that they've been pretty aggressive when, uh, with unleashing their circulating supply. So I give a 90, 90% fully diluted um, price target, or sorry, a circulating supply target. That's a 900 million token circulating supply. So 3 billion market cap divided by 900 million circulating supply. That gives us a $3.33 PAL price prediction. And I know some of you are very offended right now because that is not even a 10x, a 10, not even a 10x from today's prices. I could be way too low. I'm landing on $3.33. The big thing that you've got to understand if I is if I made this video two weeks ago, we'd be talking about $3.33 as a, as a 33x in its price. So you've got to keep in mind as we're progressing through this year and we're seeing this bull run being front run very aggressively that some of my price targets, that, that, that means 
that I'm gonna give you lower X returns from the day that I'm making these videos. All right, so that's where I land with Pal, but I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. And let me get back to that last slide, $3.33. Let me know your thoughts if you got any value from this content. I would greatly appreciate it if you smash up that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification button, and let me know how, how terrible my prediction is or how wonderful it is. Otherwise, I will most certainly be seeing you in another video.